Welcome to Cindy's Creative Inspirations. Hi, I'm Cindy, owner and designer of StampingScrapping.com. I'm excited to bring you this video featuring the new Spellbinders Grand Impressibilities and how to emboss with them using a magnet sheet. The products I'm using are the new Flower Designs Grand Impressibilities, the Tim Holtz Distress Ink and Dusty Concord Worn Lipstick and Forest Moss, along with the ink blending tool and an 8 by 11 custom sheet magnet from stampingscrapping.com. Let's get started. I'm working on the craft sheet from Ink Essentials. This is heat resistant and I like to use um, this whenever I color because it cleans off very easily. So you're going to take your magnet sheet. The next thing you're going to do is put down your piece of paper that you want to stencil and then your impressibility will stick to the magnet and so you don't have to tape it or do anything and it makes it firm while you're while you're placing your color on. You want to take your tool into your pad and go in a circular motion. The reason you want to go in a circular motion is because you want to be able to get all of your design details using the ink. Now I like the Distress inks because they blend easily and they stay wet for a long time. So we're going to just do this as quickly as possible so you can get the gist of this. Bringing the different colors in. Spellbinders has five new grand impressibilities. So you could do this easily with any of them. Now I'm using the magnet here, but you definitely don't want to use the magnet in your machine. So to hold the impressibility down, just a little note there. And you can use different tools too for each color. I'm just doing this quickly so you can see how this turns out. Okay, once you've inked all of your stencil, then simply lift it off the magnet and you can see how beautiful of a design it gives you underneath. Now while you have the impressibility and it's got ink on it, let me show you how to letter press with this. What you do is you use your base plate, then place your impressibility down, your piece of paper on top of that, then your embossing mat, and then your embossing plate, and that is your sandwich. You're going to run it through the Grand Caliber. And when you get done, you have the leftover ink that was on your stencil deep embossed into your design on your piece of paper. Of course, the brighter colors and the more ink you use, the different designs you will get. Don't worry about getting the ink off the metal on your impressibility because you can clean it off easily with the Tim Holtz blending solution. I hope you've enjoyed this fun video on how to emboss using a magnet with the impressibilities and to letter press after. Happy creating. Thanks for watching. All of the products can be found on stampingscrapping.com.